This is Beaumont's newest hike and bike trail on Folsom, and it actually connects to Dallin Road. It's um, beautiful, paved, concrete all along the way. I chose to ride this. <laughs> this is at high noon in August. It's, uh, it's hot outside, and there aren't a lot of people out here right now because they're working. It's a weekday. But in the evenings, this trail is absolutely packed every evening, as long as it's not raining. I'm out here today on a cross trail and um, just enjoying the trail. It's, um, it's really beautiful. It's not just a straight line. It's got nice curves to it. Um, there's a couple of um, earthen mounds, hills, if you will, along the way. And of course, it's set up for drainage. It's a, a retention pond. So there's interesting topography um, the first time you ride through. I don't know how interesting it is the 10th time, but it's decent. I can imagine crepe myrtles planted alongside this trail. And I can imagine a five foot walk wide uh, granite path on either side of this trail to accommodate walkers and runners. Crepe myrtles for shade and the beautiful flowers that they have. And um, uh, that would really, really make this into a beautiful, a beautiful facility. It's a first class path. It's 1.4 miles long. It's smooth. It's easy to ride on a bicycle. I just got back from San Francisco, Sausalito, Belvedere, Tiburon, and they've got paths like this everywhere there, and they're many times along the waterway, which is wonderful. It's glorious around San Francisco Bay. It's absolutely beautiful. This is also beautiful because our grass is green most of the year. They don't have that uh, there. It's more desert region there. Um, and this, it, it's just a beautiful, this is a beautiful facility. For a bicycle, it's really not long enough. Um, so when I got to the end of this path, I actually got curious about what would it take to connect this with the uh, Gulf Terrace Hike and Bike Trail. Uh, I did not intend to ride this trail. I did not intend to try to do that Gulf Terrace Trail, so I literally took off with no water. <laughs> Um, I was getting hungry when I came out here, and so it, it was an interesting ride this day. I rode about 12 miles because I made it out to the Gulf Terrace, and uh, they've got water fountains and bathrooms there, and so I filled up and, and uh, cooled off and, and came back. Uh, look at the clouds, too. It was the sun, it doesn't look as bright as it actually is, but the sun was just super bright, and the clouds were just... A most beautiful decoration for the day. The sky was just blue and gorgeous with the green, green grass. It was fantastic to get out. But again, I see crushed granite on either side of this trail and crepe myrtles and flowers and, and potential beauty as it develops, as we begin to understand that we need community trails like this in our town that not only will people use them, but they enjoy them. So why not make them even more enjoyable? Uh, there were a couple of really tight um, switchbacks, more than a 90 degree turn, and I think this might be one of them. Maybe not. But it, it had, you know, it had some mild challenges. It was a really nice trail. There's some incline and decline, so you know, you could feel when you were climbing a little bit, and you could feel when you were descending a little bit. Um, your speed's varied. It's very nicely done. I want to say there was a bridge along the way. There we go. There's that bridge. Loop around the corner. The, the, the loops, the little turns are nice. They, um, they, they add a different rhythm to the ride. And there were people out there running. I mean, it, again, it's 100 degrees outside. It's 12.15 in the afternoon, it's August, and uh, there were people out there. 
little surprised. And it's a weekday. To me, there needed to be a down ramp connecting to the street right there, but officially the trail hasn't ended yet. Right now we're paralleling a neighborhood street. See the trees? Wouldn't that be nice on both sides of that trail to just cut down on some of the brutal sunshine and add beauty? Very nice. I like crepe myrtles because they're a native plant. And there are other native plants that we could put out there, but gosh, they just look like fireworks in the summertime. They just look like a, an exploding firework, the way they grow and bloom. They're such beautiful plants. Yeah, we need like 100 crepe myrtles on this trail. Here we are. On the left, you can see the marker for the end of the trail, barely.